Hello, and welcome to another Lawrence Academy screencast. Today we're going to be talking about factoring. Factoring is uh, one method that we can use to solve uh, for the x-intercepts in a quadratic equation. Um, <clears throat> and there's actually um, a pretty, pretty straightforward um, process in doing so. Um, so here we're taking a look at the equation uh, 2x squared minus 7x minus 15 equals 0. Um, and notice that this is in the form of ax squared minus or plus bx, but it's b is a negative 7 here, so we're going to say plus bx my, uh, plus c equals 0. Um, and we're going to use these letters as a template to, uh, to really, really figure out how to factor this guy. So um, the first step in factoring uh, a quadratic equation is to multiply um, a times c. And um, in our case, a is 2, and c is negative 15. So 2 times negative 15 is negative 30. All right, so we have a times c, in this case, negative 30. And we need the factors of negative 30 to add up to negative 7. Um, so in other words, uh, the factors of a times c need to add up to b. So when I do this step of factoring, I always write it out, um, the value that I have here, negative 30, and I need the factors of that to multiply out, I'm sorry, to add out to be b. So I mean, one thing we can do is we can start listing factors. So let's start with uh, 15 and negative 2. Um, so that adds up, when I add those two together, that gives me uh, 13, which is not negative 7. All right, so we need negative 7. So this guy is not going to work. Um, let's try, uh, let's go negative 6 and 5. Negative 6 and 5, uh, fives are terrible on this thing. Um, that adds up to be negative 1, so that's not going to work. Um, let's go with um, negative 10 and positive 3. Well, if we look at that, that's going to add up to be negative 7, which is exactly what we want. All right, so that is the purpose of this step. We need to find factors of a times c um, that when we add them together, it adds up to b. Okay, so this next step is where it gets tricky. Um, so now that we have these factors, we are going to insert those factors back into our starting equation instead of b. So instead of negative 7, I'm going to write it out as 2x squared minus 10x plus 3x minus 15 equals 0. So instead of negative 7, I just did negative 10 plus 3, which is negative 7. Um, so I didn't change the actual um, value um, of the equation. I just separated b. So I, instead of 7, negative 7, I changed it into negative 10, positive 3. All right, so that's where it gets a little bit confusing. Um, all right, and once we're here, it actually becomes a little bit less difficult. Um, so the next step of the process is we're going to split this equation into two parts um, and factor out um, common factors. So I am going to take 2x squared minus 10x, and I'm going to separate that part. Um, and then I'm going to take 3x minus 15 and separate that part equals 0. All right, so now I can factor stuff out. Um, so what is common between these two? Well, um, we get a 2 and an x. So I'm going to factor out 2x from this part of the equation, and I'm left with x minus 5. Um, the common between 3x and minus 15 is a positive 3, um, and that leaves me with x minus 5. Um, and this is a good indicator um, that we're doing it right, is if whatever's inside these parentheses are the same. Um, right, so if you're doing this and whatever's inside the parentheses is not the same, that means that you did something wrong. So now that um, we're here, Essentially, I'm just going to 
reorganize this equation, um, and I'm going to write it out as 2x um, plus 3 times x minus 5 equals 0. And we're essentially done with the problem. So all I, now I, all I need to do is solve for x. And in this problem here, x could either be, I'm sorry, x is going to be equal to uh, negative 3 halves. Um, and in this problem right here, x is going to be equal to 5. So these are our two solutions that we solved by factoring. Now, as is customary, I have a handful of problems that I would like for you guys to try on your own. Um, so here you can see there's one, two, three, four, five different problems um, of varying difficulty. Um, remember to do, go through the steps that we, we, we discussed on the previous slide and you should be fine. Best of luck to you. Have a good day.